Theory and Practice of Counseling and Psychotherapy, 10th edition. Chapter 4, Psychoanalytic Therapy. Introduction. Most of the theories of counseling and psychotherapy were influenced by psychoanalytic principles and techniques. Attention to psychodynamic factors that motivate behavior, Freudian theory, gives a brief attention to Carl Jung's approach. View of human nature. We have different terms. Libido is defined as sexual energy. Life instincts serve the purpose of the survival of the individual and the human race. Freud also postulates death instincts. People manifest through their behavior on unconscious wish to die or to hurt themselves. Structure of the personality. The id is like the demanding child. It's ruled by the pleasure principle. The ego is like a traffic cop and ruled by the reality principle. The superego is like the judge and is ruled by the moral principle. Conscious and unconscious. The following are clinical evidence for postulating the unconscious. Dreams, slips of the tongue, post-hypnotic suggestions, material derived from free association techniques, material derived from projective techniques, symbolic content of psychotic symptoms. Consciousness is a thin slice of the total mind. Like the iceberg that lies below the surface of the water, the larger part of the mind exists below the surface of awareness. The unconscious stores all experiences, memories, and repressed material. It's the root of all forms of neurotic symptoms and behaviors. Anxiety. Anxiety is a feeling of dread resulting from repressed feelings, memories, and desires. It develops out of conflict among the id, ego, and superego to control psychic energy. The following are the three types of anxiety. Reality anxiety, fear of danger from the external world. Neurotic anxiety, fear that causes a person to do something for which they will be punished. And then moral anxiety is fear of one's conscience. Ego defense mechanisms. They help the individual cope with anxiety and prevent the ego from being overwhelmed. Are normal behaviors that have adaptive value if they do not become a style of life to avoid facing reality. The following are the two characteristics in common. They either deny or distort reality and they operate on an unconsciousness level. Here is a list of ego defense mechanisms. Probably you have heard many of these. Repression, denial, reaction formation, projection, displacement, rationalization, sublimation, regression, introjection, identification, and compensation. Development of personality. We have Freud's psychosexual stages. The first year is the oral stage. Ages 1 through 3, anal stage. Ages 3 through 6, phallic stage. Ages 6 through 12, latency stage. Ages 12 through 18, genital stage. Ages 18 through 35, genital stage continues. Ages 35 through 60, genital stage continues. Ages 60 plus, genital stage continues. Next, we have Erickson's psychosocial stages. First year is infancy, ages 1 through 3, early childhood, ages 3 through 6, preschool age, ages 6 through 12, school age, ages 12 through 18, adolescence, ages 18 through 35, young adulthood, ages 35 through 60, middle age, ages 60 plus, later life. Erickson's Psychosocial Perspective Psychosocial stages. Erickson's basic psychological and social tasks to be mastered from infancy through old age. 
Erickson's theory of development holds that psychosexual and psychosocial growth take place together. During each psychosocial stage, we face a specific crisis that must be resolved in order to move forward. The therapeutic process. The goal is to make the unconscious conscious and strengthen the ego so that behavior is based on reality. Increase adaptive functioning, which involves the reduction of symptoms and the resolution of conflicts. The process is not limited to solving problems and learning new behaviors. Achieving insight, but not just an intellectual understanding. Therapist's function and role. Blank screen approach, also known as anonymous non-judgmental stance, fosters transference. Transference relationship refers to the client's tendency to view the therapist in terms that are shaped by his or her experiences with important caregivers and other significant figures who played important roles during the developmental process. Relationship between therapist and client. Transference is the client's unconscious shifting to the analyst of feelings. Working through process consists of repetitive and elaborate explorations of unconscious material originated in early childhood. Countertransference occurs when the therapists lose their objectivity because their own conflicts are triggered. Application Therapeutic Techniques and Procedures Maintaining the analytic framework. Therapist uses a range of procedural and stylistic factors such as analyst's relative anonymity, consistency of meetings, free association. Clients are encouraged to say whatever comes to their mind. Interpretation. Analysts pointing out, explaining, and even teaching the client the meanings of behavior. Dream analysis. Therapist uses the royal road to the unconscious to bring unconscious material to light. Analysis and interpretation of resistance. Works against the progress of therapy and prevents the client from producing previously unconscious material. Analyst interpretation of transference. Therapist points out, explains, and teaches the meanings of whatever is revealed. Application to group counseling. Group work provides a rich framework for working through transference feelings. The group becomes a microcosm of members' everyday lives. Projections onto the leader and members are clues to unresolved intrapsychic conflicts that can be identified, explored, and worked through in the group. Pushing the client too rapidly or offering ill-timed interpretations will render the process ineffective. Jung's perspective on the development of personality. An elaborate explanation of human nature that combines ideas from history, mythology, anthropology, and religion, places central importance on psychological changes associated with midlife, achieving individuation, the harmonious integration of the conscious and unconscious aspects of personality is an innate and primary goal. To become integrated, it is essential to accept our dark side or shadow. Dreams are aimed at integration and resolution. They contain messages from the collective unconscious, our source of creativity. Images of universal experiences maintained in the collective unconscious are called archetypes, the persona, the anima and animus, and the shadow. Contemporary trends, object relations theory, self-psychology, and relational psychoanalysis. Object relations emphasizes attachment and separation. Self-psychology emphasizes how we use interpersonal relationships, self-objects, to develop our own sense of self. Relational psychoanalysis emphasizes the interactive process between client and therapist. Brief psychodynamic therapy applies the principles of psychodynamic theory and therapy to treating selective disorders within 10 to 25 sessions. 
strengths from a diversity perspective. Erickson made significant contributions to how social and cultural factors affect people in many cultures over the lifespan. This approach promotes intensive psychotherapy for therapists, which gives them insight into their countertransference, including biases and prejudices. Shortcomings from a diversity perspective. It's based on upper and middle class values and may be cost prohibitive for many people. Cultural expectations may lead clients to want more direction and structure from the professional. It's more concerned with long-term personality reconstruction than with short-term problem solving. It fails to address social, cultural, and political factors that oppress clients. Contributions of the Classical Psychoanalytic Approach Applying psychoanalytic point of view to therapy practice is useful in understanding resistances that take the form of canceling appointments, fleeing from therapy prematurely, and refusing to look at oneself. Understanding that unfinished business can be worked through to provide a new ending to events that have restricted clients emotionally. Understanding the value and role of transference. Understanding the overuse of ego defenses. Helps therapists understand the following. Extensive empirical literature on attachment, emotion, defenses, personality, and other areas that support theoretical models and clinical experiences of psychoanalytic therapists. The value of concepts such as unconscious motivation, the influence of early development, transference, countertransference, and resistance. Limitations and criticisms of psychoanalytic approach. This approach may not be appropriate for all cultures or socioeconomic groups. Deterministic focus does not emphasize current maladaptive behaviors. Minimizes role of the environment. Requires subjective interpretation. Relies heavily on client fantasy. And it's a lengthy treatment that may not be practical are affordable for many clients. Mm -hmm.